let's play this in full as always, but there is no sound this time. Let's watch the whole thing. Another entry in the parkour submission. All right. There's some cool stuff in there. I got some thoughts here and there, but generally it's pretty neat. What I would say, this is a good entrance. I'm always a big fan of a set and a surprise entrance. I think that's pretty cool. It's always interesting and dynamic. I wonder if at this point we could also, since it leads with the head, bring up the head a bit higher. The character would have to know where to go. And this feels like we're looking at just down at that stone structure. So maybe higher, like rotate up the head so we can see the face, good facial expression. Then on this, the only thing here is that we're, we're I feel like there's a big energy of those legs coming up right into that. But then it's kind of stumped and just kind of does this, where it's almost like you want to go further out with those legs, stretch them out, and then bring them back in. That's kind of, it just feels like, like that. Probably pushing the silhouette maybe a bit more on that arm. So maybe that arm holds a bit longer there over just, Instead of two frames, maybe a bit longer. So we're not stuck with where is it? Is it kind of back there? Maybe that could be pushed a little bit. Same thing in here so that we're not stuck kind of there and kind of there. Then same thing with this, that arm swing. Whew, feels like it's going to swing more, more forward so that it's potentially further there. Now, character might not be low enough you might have to lean over more to get this on the ground it's just there's also something about this being a bit mirrored in twins and then same thing again she's just she seems serious but then it still feels a bit defaulty in the face where we i think we could push that just a bit more on that run it's a slight feel of shoulders not really engaged or the chest with such a back and forth i mean i see a rotation i see it in there but it feels like we could push that more, including the rotation in the hips. I'm not sure if there's any wire rota y rotation going forward with that. And then here. So it feels like this whole rotational section, hips, chest, and even the push in the shoulders, that could be, could be tweaked a bit more. Careful in terms of silhouette, I would bring that arm either lower, so the hand is here, or whatever, you know, back there, whatever the pose would be, but just not overlappy, because I would think I would keep that as a clean silhouette. Even something like this, I would extend that arm so there's a gap between these two. But that's cool. Has a good rhythm to it. Maybe, because the overall style is not super cartoony, so maybe that feels a bit sausagey, fingery, or it might potentially reduce that amount of drag. And then some picky things in terms of how this flops around a bit, but it's not crazy. What I really like is this. I love that during that moment, there's also a bit of a keep looking this way, stabilized head a little bit, but not too much. And then I like this, that the arms go together into this bullet pose into this. I think that's really cool. I think it was like the, a cool moment in there. The only thing I would say on the land is that if you track the butt as it goes down, bam, that's a little bit of a lock there. And she hits that ground a bit hard. I would continue to go there into a bigger squatty potty type of thing and then come back up. So that gives you a bit of a, a bit more room to go down and back up into this. Because once we get to here, it feels a bit locked. I wish it was a bit of a bigger up and then down and then stabilize because of the speed. But it feels like we're going right through there. It's a bit flat through this. And then a bit stiff in the chest and head where they kind of wobble at some harsh spacing moments through there. I think that could loosen up, be loosened up a bit. That's all cool. Maybe the hands are a bit draggy, floppy. Or I kind of miss the tension there a little bit. She feels, she feels just a bit lazy in her arms. Versus some more straight, so just a bit of a longer hold potentially there. And then faster over there. It's good. A bit more energy. She dies a little bit there. Then, the last thing I would say is in the cuts. I don't mind all of this. Maybe that camera move is a bit anticipatory where it's almost too early or definitely synced with the body. I would wait, have her lead, then the camera catches up. And then careful if you're doing this. It could be cool to actually... Because there's momentum going this way. How do you stop that momentum? Well, this leg can push this way. 
but we're landing straight. So where is that momentum going? She would technically still continue and I would probably on that land have that leg more out this way, bring up that arm, but there's a force that can push this way to stop this left momentum, if that makes sense. I'm asking, but no one, you know, there's no live feedback here. <laughs> then you got that, and I feel like that last shot is a short. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and then we're back to the beginning. Now there's a frame limit, but it could be interesting where that could be just pushed longer or maybe shorten areas. Maybe this is the mode where we could steal some frames, make this a bit snappier and faster, and add those frames at the end. Still wet, it's a bit of a bummer. I will probably continue with this idea of seeing the upper body lower, upper body, a bit more upper body, knees are a bit lower, maybe even see, imagine you would have you know this lower so that you can see part of the thigh and then into your head and that arm. Just kind of pushing that a bit more. Even this, I wouldn't cover that. I would go either break frame and then bring that foot higher, but we still see part of the hip and the pelvis and all that stuff. Just kind of working on that silhouette a little bit. And then spacing wise, watch out. It feels like we're doing a straight, it's visually straight down, but then sideways again, and then down again, and then up again. Just kind of cleaning that curve up a little bit. And that's that. Cool dynamic, cool stuff. As always, little picky notes here and there. And that is that. Alrighty, there is sound, also link. <laughs> I love how long we rest. Ugh. Of course, if you know me, this just straight into my pleasure center where you have Link, you got the music, you got kind of voxel-y pixel art sets. I know this is just so what I love, but it's fun. It's really cute. I really like the whole setup. This goes back to what I said in the previous critique. I'm always a big fan of, we can look at where we are. We understand where we are and then bam, entrance of a character. I think that's always, I don't know why I really respond to that type of stuff. I always think in terms of demo reels, you can have your title, name and everything, background not quite there yet, then background fades in, and then the text fades out right as the character comes in. Could be kind of neat. Nice and clean silhouette throughout. Potentially could push that forearm lower a bit to see a cleaner structure of this arm, but it's nice. Sometimes, as much as I love the background, dare I say, every now and then, it's a bit busy when you have a darker boot that leads right into this or here. We kind of lose a little bit of a clean silhouette. Super picky over a couple of frames, just throwing it out there. Maybe this could be added with a slight background. I know it's all gray. I mean, it all kind of makes sense, but maybe you can put in hardware fog to just give a bit of a haze to push that out a bit more into the forefront. But it's cute. Again, I like the contrast of or I like, again, have I said that before, but I like the silhouette and then the contrast into another clean silhouette, the change of arms. Maybe I would say that down is a bit together. You could offset those arms a bit. And again, it plays a little bit into the busyness. That's the only thing. As much as I love it, I wish we could have a bit of a cleaner view, but great. I love the little detail, a little flick in the hand. I can actually bring in that click a bit closer. There you go. Into that. This one, so when you just play this, right? This has an ever so slight fast feel right there, this frame. Where if I look at this, the style is not super extreme. And it could even potentially for contrast have this go higher up here. So it's well, why? Just a little contrast of timing and general look. So it's not so even, it's be super picky. This just feels, why I was saying this, because the style is fairly non-pushed and it's only we have a really fast move here. And if I look at the rest, especially this landing, which is really nice, the little steps there, all feels fairly naturalistic. Like all of this, including that, even this doesn't have a massive hold smackdown. And that's why to me, this feels slightly out of place. It's almost a bit poppy in there. That's I think the, the frame that I would tweak. Other than that, we start here again. Maybe the silhouette muddied because of all of this, as much as I love it. We start to kind of miss some of those. What am I looking at? Glove or background? So some of that stuff could be neat. 
that would be sweet just a tad but i do really like this here so ignore the fast move but that land is nice maybe on that drop because it's so fast through here maybe a slight bigger drag on the head and maybe even on the shoulders and then shoulders down head down a bit but this feels really nice that's a really cool cool moment it's also very montagey and at the at the beginning i felt like this is a moment this is the continuation and then whoa this makes no sense we're down here it looks at us and then we're suddenly up here but then this happens and then we're somewhere else it's like all right maybe this is the continuation even though this is a lighter background with the blocks and they're not here you know what i mean i think it is generally like these ones are not here so generally it's a montage thing it's just the way this cuts together doesn't quite feel like it and at the very beginning i felt a bit confused at that cut maybe i'm also old just confused but it's nice again nice offsets asymmetry especially in here all of this a nice pose i like how overshoots a bit some looseness in the hair then you got to deal with it glasses for coolness and that's also a nice jump with the fail <laughs> got nice weight there and just for comedic sake just to hold and again if you bring back the music <laughs> I was like, I don't know, that always works for me. This is always the thing that gets me easily. People slapped in the face and stuff like that, or you just hold. Maybe they could have been like, boom. <laughs> cool cliche. It's always a classic thing of, pow, something happens, silence, and then a twitch, or I'm okay. Like, no, it's a bit overdone, but still, maybe a bit of twitch in the fingers or something, or a, a, a toe, like a boot thing. I don't know could be overused but again i do love seeing all of this and that is that it's really cute really nicely animated it'll pick your things for me as always here and there but it's super cool Alrighty, let's play this in full but there's no sound so you're gonna have to do with my <laughs> random sounds cool dynamic stuff though and this is why i picked it it's neat i also like the before going to the animation i like the scale of the buildings especially once we hear is a really big sense of scale how slowly they move in the back and there's some really cool stuff just general posing is neat and then picky stuff i think the main thing i would say if i had to change two main things it would be i feel like this is just too much there's constant constant white stuff wings especially this here it seems like he is just so full of dust that wherever he goes, there's constant dust coming off. It almost feels a bit overdone in terms of constant, constant stuff everywhere, including potentially, what is this here? We got a whoops. Yeah, there's a whoops in there. It just starts to get a bit, like the contrast is missing because it's always there versus shoo, there's a moment, of, shoo, there's a moment, there's an accent, like doing something really fast. Shoo. Like through there, you could almost have multiples with some eyes and the head trailing. It goes into this and maybe right through there would be the moment to add some and then leave it at that. This just feels, I don't this to me, I'm not a massive fan of the amount. Even this here, it starts to feel like, what is there like laser beams? Is there energy shooting out? Is it not just smears? Because this makes more sense because it's red and it feels like a smear with that but then you have suddenly added yellow to it so to me it feels like it's keep it i say let's keep it not that you have to change anything it's not doing it for me anyway i'm just saying the red i will keep i wouldn't have the yellow and just reduce the amount of of white because then at the beginning here they're also darker so might as well keep it within that realm where it's this makes sense because of the surface and the color of all this versus that I know that's just me other than that there's some nice clean poses throughout maybe this feels a bit even the way it's it takes a long time to get through this awesome pose right there and then there's something where it just feels like one two three four i don't know there's something where we could potentially shorten it this feels a bit slowish into that it's a short hold maybe this could be held a bit longer and potentially sheet the stretch that arm bring my head up here fingers out so that the knee 
is here, but then the thumb is here. It's a, a cleaner negative space for uh, what's going on there. That's all cool. Maybe even pan and tilt over a little bit. We are super edgy on the right. And if I watch this, I think just a little bit more balanced. I like that it comes back. We're a bit more in the thirds, but it could have also added some neat, maybe handheld effect or something where it's not so locked camera. Even though I like how then we can see that receding skyline. That's cool. But just for framing, maybe a bit of a change there. This here, where I felt like, okay, hold on, we're going back, back rolls here, but then suddenly we are turning the pivot. We're still going backwards, but now we're just facing somewhere else, low into this. I feel like that could have been tweaked a bit with like a sideways cartwheel into a roll. I'm not super sold on what's going on there physics-wise and mechanics-wise. Clean poses though, the only thing I would say it's a bummer that we're suddenly having a dark building. Because if I look back, it's the only one. So maybe it's an inverted normal, some texture problem, but it feels like that would be a great moment to not have it. Keep it gray so you have a nice silhouette seeing all of this. That's cool. This feeling wise, feels like we are dragging and then going forward. It's weird. Right when I said dragging, it made me think of uh, what's the name of the actor? Does the dragging, am I, am I leading, am I dragging uh, in Whiplash? Who also plays J.K. Simmons in, in uh, Spider-Man. Anyway, uh, I'm blanking on the name. Apologize to the, to the actor. He's such a great actor too. Anyway, it feels like lots of energy there. Boom. Goes forward, but then it feels like you would shoot you to go forward a bit more. And that's also why the leap. So we would be pushing this in my awesome drawing. So it's not all this energy and then we're locked here it feels like momentum wise we will be ah, ah i'm gonna pull this guy forward that's cool into this i really like this though that is fun that to me is just fun this the pose here into that maybe working on the silhouette a little bit so it's not i like this that we can see the elbow we understand the structure there but then here it gets a bit muddy so a tangent there i would bring that out see the forearms so you understand the structure oh that arm into this, that's cool, I like that. I like that little sideways land into this and maybe this offset where it feels like we are now in twin land. Not that twinning is always bad, not at all, but given that everything else everything else is so dynamic, maybe a little offset arm and maybe not in the face. So that offset will benefit right there to put the hand here and this a bit lower. So we clean this face into that, into the exit. That's that. So picky things as always here and there. Very dynamic, lots of cool stuff. Uh, and as always, you know, subjective notes on, on things here. But that is that. All right, let's play this in full. There is no sound. And it's nice and short and sweet. I'm actually gonna bring up my head up here since the action is below. And there's really not much that I can talk about until you're asking, well, why am I picking it? Just because I think it's super cute. Has a nice feel and especially the ends. I love the whole wee, shung, dong, all of that as a nice weight to the manhole the area, blah, that cover. Da, 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 da. This all feels nice. So the reason why I'm picking this is because I feel like we want to go 10% further in the timing where this is all cool. And I will probably go potentially even lower so that there's a, let me just see, you're doing this into that. So it's almost like, oh, higher, sorry, sorry, higher where we start higher. So we have a bigger contrast of entrance to compression to back up a little bit into this. Just kind of pushing that. That has nothing to do with timing, but just a bit of visual contrast. I do love all the shapes there. Here's the moment. So you have the turn here into this. And there's something about this is nice. This is nice. And then I feel like, ugh, on this, you can pop into a straight. So it's not curve, curve. We're already extending, but we're still curved into the extension through here. I feel like we could do something where, let me go crazy, pick out some dark green and imagine, right? This is your shape right there. And this is your shape right there. And then you got curvature through here, curvature through here. Then we hold, which is nice with the arms coming up. 
But then we go into this straight. Got your little backpack here. And then we can already be in a curved back backpack that leads into this curvature that even curves the backpack. <laughs> I know the shell. But if you watch this, will this work? Does it register? In my mind, it feels like pa. There's a bit of pa explosive stretch on that spine. I think it would be really cool. Then it feels like here's a moment where either we do a faster. And let me go back just because we can see it better. Hopefully a faster twirl. Then hold and then faster into a land. I feel like this is the moment where we want to do a bit of a exaggerated timing moment instead of a wah, 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 land. It feels a bit even. Because here you have a nice and I like this here. I like that into that. That's super cute. <laughs> it's cute. Into that, into this. This could potentially be closer into a triangle as it comes out of these. Well, can't go together, but there's a hole there or there's a division, but just visually we can be closer and then open up into this and maybe even drag that a bit longer and then get into this. And maybe a slight offset, slight offset into that. Because the moment here, wait, has just enough of a hold, drop, hold, drop with this cute into this and i feel like that's the moment where actually we, i wouldn't do a fast 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 hold drop just because we have it already we would have it here we would have it here and that's just a different property it's not character stuff it just has a nice little going into that that's all i would have to say short and sweet you might argue well by not having that exaggerated timing here, this stands out even more. Agree? So then it could be even pushed further where it's really fast, long holds, really fast. And then this is just kind of split the difference where it's just not normal, but not super exaggerated, kind of in the middle. So keep this and then this would just be more. That would be my counter argument to the contrast, non-existent discussion that I have in myself or non-existent with anybody else that wants to discuss this with me since I am talking into the void. And that is that. It's really, that's it. I just really like the setup. It's nice and clean. I thought this was just really cute. And maybe this could just be pushed a little bit more. And I believe this is the uh, animator starter pack set piece, which I love. There's so many pieces in this. If you haven't checked it out, check out the animator starter pack. It's actually on Animation Buffet on my rig website. It's, there's a link there too. Uh, it's constantly being updated, so it's awesome. But that is that. I'll leave it with this, and that's it. All right, new shot with sound. Oh, oh they take it hard. Oh, violent. All right. So overall, there's some cool stuff. I'm gonna turn off the sound. Some cool dynamic stuff, cool action. And this, to me, falls into the realm of pushing it a bit further and let me just see as I'm scrubbing through because I finished the previous critique with my head up there I'm going to bring it back down so you can see more of the action so I think it's cool and actually just the previous critique I said the same thing push it 10% maybe 15% in terms of posing even this here coming in unless the intention is for a, a you know samurai sword or whatever sword you have here surprise I would even push that arm out and then show that. Come in here with that sword there going, oh, there, someone means business. Because up until then, we don't quite know what's happening. And then it's just kind of there. So even then, I would go with, let's pretend maybe that arm is here and the sword is back there, right? But then you bring it up for a big slam into this. Just a bigger moment. This feels a bit floppy on his arms Boing. now you might argue he's already dead at this point so it would be floppy but then i would do a pushed it's tricky with silhouette because it's also dark my thought was maybe a struggle or arm back there something where we can see tension and there's still life in this character and a struggle then hit 
and maybe those arms are higher shoulders are up especially shoulders i would bring up and then and that's when the shoulders really slump and the arms go down for just a bigger push of there's life there's no life and then the rest is fine so let's go that in terms of material is i mean again it's very gruesome but i like it in terms of pulling this out and the body reacts to it you can argue some some blood something could be added but that makes it even more gruesome but then we go back into again the posing where we go out into this and then watch out we're kind of losing the silhouette for a moment it's also dark and this feels a bit this works but i would still bring it back further this is my awesome arm by the way right but you would have it here or something where it's just you push those moments nice clean i like this slightly covered i just feel like you can go further again we're missing the arm i guess that's the sword here but this just feels like a stump silhouette versus what if either higher or lower and we can see this and then we understand the sword up there with my awesome drawing <laughs> we're just kind of pushing those poses more like this feels nice but then i would almost go no it feels okay let me see real time because it's always one thing when you just look at it frame by frame versus what well, that's not what we're looking at we're really looking like this yeah looking at this the retreat here or change feels just kind of almost lazy and kind of cycly versus and maybe even stay lower dynamic pose go up run 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 so that we have a higher position low position for a squash anticipation go up here into this this would really benefit from some splatter here to push that that energy over this again feels soft this feels like it's massively based on reference and even potentially reference where a real actor was on wires because this just feels soft so i would even like overall it feels fairly real where i would push it give it that 10 percent slightly enhanced realism where hold a bit longer a bit of a faster drop a bit of a bigger compression there to go into this the other thing too is where i would make this thinner and maybe a lighter color we're starting again to lose silhouette the sword all of that given all the structure here i will clean that up and not have that there and even here that arm from the body we lose the silhouette maybe these guys would have a different color just every now and then readability to me could be pushed even this feels like a very clean elegant turn versus a jump Maybe that's intention, but then it turns into turn, turn, where it just, there's no contrast in it. I mean, obviously there's contrast in terms of height. I, I get that, but looking at this, it just feels a bit nonchalant. Like, oh, let me just turn around. Which is, and then pushing that just a bit more. Same with this, bit of a longer hold. Give this two more frames, take two frames out of this. So this doesn't feel so slow here into that turn i do like this though that little bent leg hold into the drop here into that that has a nice feel but then it feels like a weird cut where i'm seeing a rotation there's momentum in the drop so i feel like compression up rotation but then we are straightforward versus i mean it does go up but i feel like it could continue a bit more in that rotation it's a bit of a weird cut there that's okay. Maybe a bit of a, at least it gives you a nice silhouette with the sword in front of it. Again, this I'm starting to, I, I understand what's going on, but I wish this would just be a different color or not at all. So you don't have all those darker lines for messy background. So we can see what's going on there. This feels, that's the only thing animation wise that felt a bit odd. You have all this momentum going back, hold. And then it's kind of a floaty, Especially here where the arm is stuck in 2D space while the rest goes forward. It's supposed to be a bit wonky there, spacing wise. That's cool. And that's cool. Where you have a slow into fast. So, yeah, that is that little picky things as always here and there. But dynamic stuff, I think it's just so dynamic that we can push it. It's kind of push that moment more. You can even afford a tilt up a bit. We will still see this, but we won't be so edgy there. And even here, although the focus is here. Maybe a cut off arm. But then here we're a bit high. Then I feel like, 
by now we can potentially tilt up again and then tilt back down. So maybe a little camera work here and there. But that is that. Alrighty, as always, let's play this in full, but there is no sound. So just gonna have to watch it while I make sounds. Doing and dun dun dun. <laughs> Alright. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. I got a little bit of camera comment here and there. And then just action wise, the ending I'm not super smitten by subjectively, but there are lots of stuff I love. I love, as always, an entrance. I think if you watch a couple of these, especially in this compilation, a lot of entrances, and I like that. I like when you see the set and shoo, someone just comes in. I am a big fan of this. The land here, and you got an offset. Maybe we could, hold on, let me bring in the movie a little bit more maybe lower that leg so we can see more of the upper leg and the whole structure of the leg maybe it's fairly fast get a full extension this i will probably tweak um silhouette wise just because this really looks like pirate arm cut off and even this here where i would bring it lower so we see the bend i think i'm seeing this in a couple of critiques now so just so you understand the structure and the length of those arms so it's not that if you take the sets out and in maya or this might be a blender rig, I can't remember. So whatever, you can have lights where it just, it just turns all black and just silhouette it. You can see that we don't quite understand what it is. Unless it's intersecting. Oh, wait. No, this is me being an idiot. Hold on. This is the roof. Ah, hold on. This is intersecting with this geometry. And now it's underneath. And it's intersecting here. And now we see it. <laughs> I don't know. This might be it. So maybe... If this would extend, it would be better, but then I would still tweak it on this side. I don't know. Just whoever did this, I mean, whoever, I see the name here. Pavel, um, please check. I would check. That's just a bit of a bummer at the beginning. Check your intersections. But what I like a lot about this is the continuous momentum into this and the nice little asymmetrical pose. And then this. Love that. Love that little hip move out rebalancing of this drag with the fingers this just feels really nice this has me super smitten right off the bat whoa it's great i would only say that the camera is a bit too complex in terms of there's a translate in there because this is not i see the perspective change this is not a rotation there's a translate in there with a sudden move to reframe that's fine but then we reframe a bit quickly over there, and then we're almost a bit first person, not first person, third person view locked to the camera. I would decouple the camera from the character a bit more. Just a bit. It's a slight tweak. This is really extremely picky. There's just something about just that move. It's even like that reframe wouldn't be needed, where she just hops into frame, where maybe we could have it where the camera just maybe. No, I don't know. To me, it feels like that's it. Leave it there. Because we're so high here that all you would have to do is start to just tilt up to follow her to a smooth follow. This is all cool. I like that little way too. The only thing I would say here, timing-wise, this feels slow. There's something slow and also almost sticking in 2D space again. Again, it's maybe this locked camera feel where there's a lot of movement down there, but then the body's kind of upper body's locked. Watch this. Feels a bit off. There's something where maybe you need to go higher, push off, and then drop versus a straight. And then we are kind of locked here on the buns. And then it goes down. It's kind of a little moment. It's a bit wonky there. And then watch out. It feels a bit overextended arm with a bit of a break in that wrist. I could I would soften that and not go more than like this, even. Slight bend is always okay. Has a nice little doom. Little hit there that feels really nice. I like to look over so the characters focus on where to go. There's a situational awareness that comes with that. This, I would say, it's such a sideways jump, which is a cool move. That I feel like once we're here, that sideways, if this is the building from the top and she is holding on here, that she would swing more this way. So instead of straight down, I feel like we would swing more so that. This leg would actually be here and the other one up there. And then she would kind of bring Siddle back towards us. Let's watch this in real time. It's fast. So it's not like, it, it's not a shot breaker. 
and has a nice hold. What? Shoot into this. So you can argue, well, there's momentum, but she's pulling herself shoot down so quickly with this nice shape here that there's not enough time for that momentum to continue, but she pulls herself into that straight pose. That, I can see that as a counter argument. Watch this again. But I think to me it would have been a nice little complexity detail added there. This I really love. This is the other reason why I love that shot. That whole beginning was cool. And then this, the idea of foing, doing, this is cool. Maybe a bit fast. You have some push timing. No, it's fine. I don't know. Maybe I'm reacting to maybe having a couple more frames here. Because there's so much pull down that this almost feels too quick. I hope maybe give this one more frame. Two frames. Let's see. Doing. Yeah. One or two frames. Hold a bit longer there. And maybe playing a bit more with the shapes of the compression. She does go back, but then the legs don't. It's like this leg to me will go here. Bam. Impact already lower. Bam. Fold it in. Fold it in. And then out. That's a bit mirror -y. Maybe push that contrast moment a bit more like you have it here. It's kind of funny how <laughs> the eye is right there. It's kind of funny. But it's a cool idea. Boing. This is fun. Nice end there. Shoot. And then it feels like there's so much energy, right? And then it's a very slow look where it's almost... I see movement in the upper body here. I feel like we could push this a bit more. Get rid of, rid of that asymmetry. Or symmetry. Push the asymmetry a bit more. And then after that, it's so slow. Slow motion-y. Into a very soft exit. Where it almost feels like, was that... Is there reference? And it was kind of a copy reference. But sometimes when you stick to reference and you kind of copy it you lose that, that zest of the timing and it gets a bit floaty and if i take this and i make it twice as 50 percent faster ignore this but to get up maybe 50 percent faster on that exit even 25 percent faster is better this is the only thing where i feel like awesomeness in terms of asymmetry and complexity all super cool that's neat it'll bounce at great weight that's creative. I love this. And then we go, mm, that's a bit of a simple head turn. And slow. And is she wiping her hands? Yeah, a little bit. So maybe have to push it into a bigger window. We can see that silhouette a bit more. It gets a bit lost. But maybe given that she does the wipe, it could be more of a, ha, a bit more of an exaggerated walk of, ha, I did this. I'm okay. I can go now. And you know, like something where the personality that you're hinting at here is also seen in the animation in the rhythm of how she walks away and even gets up. Maybe that up would be more sideways. Let me see. I could bigger off. Not that you have to do the whole one leg rip and then go like hold step. But something to push that personality a bit more. I would say, I would say that's that. And that's my Roomba going off in the background. Perfect timing for me to stop. Alrighty, new clip here. This has sound. Let's play some full. And this. And that's that. Alright, let's turn off sound. So this is pretty cool. I like all of this. There's some cool stuff in there. I like the that little elongation there. You can see if I a little dolly zoom there, right? If you look at this here. You see the elongation in the set. The lens change. It's also cool. I like that there is a like a crossover. It comes in from the left, goes to the right. It's a little dynamic energy. I do like all the cloth drag, especially here on that turn. Right there into this. It's really nice. Now, looking at this, though, since we are into this moment, the only thing here is that, and I haven't animated with this rig, so I, I don't know the... Um, the extent of the facial features, I can't remember. I thought I looked at it at home um, before, but I just can't remember. So I apologize if I'm going to say something like, well, you can't do it or you could. I don't know. But the character feels somewhat bored, where that could be the moment of, since you're already in slow motion, now is the time for a wide eye, maybe a blink or like a, like a smile or like whatever. Anything in there could be a cool moment just to push that. Since we are lingering on it, this starts to feel more like a, like a toy 
the mannequin on board into this. But that's cool. I like the, the timing of into that fast move. I think that's super cool. Like also that drag on that arm into that. This is super cool. I like the little detail here on that right there. The only thing I would say about this section is that we have okay, go run, 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 jump, land, run, 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 jump, run, run, run into this. And it could have been potentially neat here. So it doesn't look like it's just basically on the on the on the ledge here, perspective wise. What if that arm is up and has the fingers out and with that material does kind of a sparks fly? Or it does that and then maybe pushes off more and then grabs one more time up here. Tricky silhouette, but that could be a moment. This is cool. I like all of this. Same thing for contrast. I would say maybe we're stuck a bit in this pose, this pose, reverse this pose, but then back into this pose where maybe it starts off like this, but with that land, there's a bit more of an offset potentially since it's really leaning. And then that could lead into, well, the arm's already up into a grab pull up versus the tiny, no, there's no grab on the ledge here either. So maybe that arm will be pulling the character up. That could be something. What I like about this though, is these, it's a clean silhouette the land into this. I like that we're on one leg. The one comes up for the momentum to do this. Although we might argue maybe that could be helped with the leg like that. That's what I was actually thinking where this leg is here and then goes up. That's my awesome leg drawing into that. That leg going up helps the momentum to go back there. And then it could straighten into this maybe, but I like that it's a backwards jump that's cool for contrast streaks are always nice and then this here i understand that when you go this way it's the character is going to look forward which character is doing it here but the thing that's kind of weird this is super weird picky but i i see this structure i see this opening cut to sky and just this plane and then that's it and it's and it's probably because we're too low we can't see the perspective but given that there is this and even this down here it would have been cool to just connect those shots a bit more with whatever you have. Maybe it ends here, the lower piece is here, something, and maybe skyscraper for a nice silhouette, maybe. It just suddenly feels so simple. Like, this is cool. Not that it's super complex, but it adds something to it. Even this, that here, maybe a railing and then a skyscraper. That we understand the structure where we just came from. Just to connect visually the shots. I know it's maybe super picky, but... That's kind of my reaction for that moment. I do love those details. Always into that. Streaks are nice. Don't think about the end. It's almost a creepy look, but maybe something different with the face. Maybe not just a smirk. Again, feel like maybe a pushed moment. And the only other thing is that we actually end here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five. Five frames of no animation. Bit of a weird thing of stop. We just register that stop. We'll just cut out sooner. So we just end on that last slow moment. Other than that, it's all cool. All the cloth there, all that is great. Yeah, it's overall super dynamic. There's some really cool stuff. Boom. Timing is really neat. To me, it's just kind of posy, contrasty changes. And that's that. As always, let's play this in full. And there's sound. All right, and actually let me bring up my face, turn off the sound. So there is room, actually bring up my face to the left. Mainly because all the action there is on the right. Like this, there's lots of cool stuff. It's cool to see Zelda. I like all of this. I just have one bigger-ish note. This is why I am choosing that one. There's some cool stuff. I like the style, we get into more twos. I think every now and then you could potentially push how far back the leg goes. There's something about it feeling slightly contained in this box in here, just visually, where I feel like maybe even that beginning pose could be higher. Just give it a bit more of a, a dynamic pose. And even this is nice. Where's the other arm? Comes out, it's a bit hidden with this. Maybe it's kind of pushing a little bit the arms. I know it might take away from the contrast of this, like from this to that. But I feel like maybe in the legs, then we can push just that moment. There's something that just feels too contained in there. But it's nice in terms of run down. We anticipate this with this. 
going down that's nice into that jump and here's the big thing this is weird thing of we are like she is rotating turning going right to left we see this and it's a bit of a flop there and then we go left to right and it's just the the 180 rule being broken here it's just weirdly jarring where it feels like wait is this a move where she is still turning and collapsing because that's what it feels like because we have the the knife here continuing right if you follow the move of the knife and it's right there it's like okay well maybe it isn't a camera move and it's just her doing a land like this it just felt a bit weird because we are losing the structure of whatever is going on here right the whole set pieces we go up and then it's lost so now we can be anywhere so maybe Having pieces there will help us orient us so we understand what's going on a bit more. And maybe just a slight change in how she lands. There's just so much right to left momentum that suddenly, whoa, we go slightly off of that into the compression left to right. That would be my biggest thing. So it's like at first I thought, wait, is this a cut? And we're going now suddenly a different way. But then I see, oh, wait, there's the knife. And also maybe potentially a bit of a cheat in how it flies. Maybe it's slightly parented to the camera. But that's to me the biggest thing. What's clever too about this is that you have the knife here, right? Let's go up, you have the knife here, knife here, knife here, no knife. That's a visual cue, like where's the last one? And then the poor mentor rig here, <sighs> squirrely lands and dies. But that's mostly that. Just a little posing thing at the beginning for energy, slight confusion there. The more you watch it, the more I, I get used to it. But the very first time I thought, that's odd. What just happened here? But other than that, mechanically, it's really nice. I like the crossover on the legs. That for her speed, all this makes sense. You got a nice multiple here in this. And then the compression is nice. It doesn't feel really, you know, poppy or too soft. Like in terms of mechanics, if we ignore the direction. It's really nice in how far she compresses and then goes out into that. It has a bit of an overshoot. Let me watch. And storing. Get just enough with some breathing. And then a reaction. Maybe eye line. A bit wonky there. Could argue about that. So maybe you have to look a bit lower. It's not a shock killer, really, but that could be something. Whew. And I also like that it's actually slow breathing with the eyes closed. She's in her Zen moment. So maybe an open mouth a little bit, a little slight more complexity in the face, potentially. And then if you go back to the sound, that sound, this reaction here, and then look up. So maybe if you don't have the sound, right? Because you can't always rely on sound. She reacts a bit early you might argue well she can hear really well she's attuned to all dangers everywhere she would react right away but you could argue that maybe only here on this frame she starts to look up and then maybe up and then dart down that could be an added thing uh throwing that out there i don't know if that's too picky there's a little thing at the ends that could be tweaked potentially and that's that it's really fun to watch i also like the set i like these with the cubes and everything it's a cool setup. Um, I don't know. It works really well. This, you get, I'm actually curious. If you watch this the first time and you felt like, nah, it's fine. Maybe it's just me. Let me know. Uh, anybody can reply or comment. I'm very curious. And that is that. So that's it from me. Thank you.
core. They kind of dangerous. <laughs>